I want to talk to you about is, is uh, in John chapter 11, from verse 1 to 6. He said, Now a certain man who was sick, Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister Martha. It was that Mary who anointed the Lord with fragrant oil and wiped his feet with her hair, whose, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore, the sister sent to him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom you love is sick. Just so you know, you know, we don't have to remind uh, God how much he loves you. We have to remind ourselves <laughs> how much he loves us. Okay, um, next uh, verse. When Jesus heard that he that he said his this sickness he said this sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God that the Son of God may be glorified through it. So Jesus said, "Okay, don't worry about it. I got it. <laughs> I got it taken care of." Okay. So okay, next verse. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was sick. He stayed two more days in the place where he was. You know, normally it happens the opposite, right? <laughs> we heard them, okay, there we go, we're running. Um, but here, um, Jesus, he was not moved by people's need. He, was, uh, he always was led by the Holy Spirit. And that's really important. Um, okay, and from here we're going to jump to verse 17. Okay, so when Jesus came, he found that he had already been in that tomb four days. Now, Bethany was, was near Jerusalem, about two miles away. And many of the Jews had joined the women around Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Okay, where were we? 20, right? Uh, so Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary was sitting in the house. Now Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. So here, as I was reading this, you know, I was, um, I was thinking, you know, just... Um, how uh, Martha was feeling. And you know, the way I see, you know, she was saying, you know, like, okay, Lord, what took you so long? I am so disappointed. Why didn't you come sooner? Um, sometimes we get disappointed, right? <laughs> disappointed because things don't happen in the way or time that we would like. So, how many of you have? Just me? No? A lot of us, you know, because, you know, that's life. Life happens, right? So uh, we get hurt. We get disappointed. We feel helpless sometimes in uh, circumstances, situations around us. So um, bad things happen to good people. And why? Because we live in this world that is broken by sin. That's why, you know. And but we always have to remem remember something. This helps me a lot, you know. Um, just to remember, you know, when I'm going through a hard time, I always remember, you know, God is good. The devil is bad. That's all, you know. God is good. The devil is bad. And uh, bad things happen in this wor world. Bad things happen to us because, you know, we live in a broken world. And that's why, thank God, we have a savior, right? Uh, and that's what we are celebrating today. We're celebrating him, the, uh, our champion. The song that we were singing, he is our champion. He rescued us. Um, okay, so, okay, so let's look in verse 32. Then when Mary came where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. So first Martha is disappointed and all that, but the two sisters, they felt the same way, the same way. Uh, so I see one thing here, you know, that Mary was a worshiper, right? 
Uh, but she still, you know, was broken her. Uh, even though we we are we worship God, we are close to God, you know, that doesn't mean that uh, bad things are not uh, going to stop there. You know, we as worshipers, as Christians, you know, that, you know, we're still going to go through hard time. But God wants to be by our side. Yeah. So um, I remember, you know, like um, um, my spiritual mom years ago, she was sick, you know, and I remember praying, you know, praying, praying, you know, that God would heal her. And, and she didn't got healed. He, she passed away. So I remember being so disappointed, so hurt. And, um, and, you know, I didn't stop there, you know, for a while, you know, I, I yeah, I was disappointed. I said, why God? Why God, same than what Mary and Martha were, were saying, you know, uh, was in the same, you know, like, okay, why God, why she had to die? So I didn't stay there, of course, you know, and I remember, you know, pray, loving to pray for people, you know, but when that happened, you know, I stopped. I said, okay, I'm disappointed. I'm hurt. I'm giving up, you know, I'm not going to do that anymore. Maybe because, you know, Jesus doesn't love me enough, or he's not using, doesn't want to use me. I, I did put a lot of excuses. So, um, so yeah, things happen. Things happen. That's life, you know. Um, we live in a broken world. Um, so, it's okay, you know, uh, we get disappointed, but it's not okay to stay there. When we stay there, uh, defeated, then we lose. And the devil wins. So, uh, so yeah, uh, let, let's go to verse 33. Okay. Therefore, when Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who came with her weeping, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. And he said, where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. Why he wept? Because he did love this, the uh, Mar Martha and Mary and Lazarus. He really loved them. Then the Jews said, see how he loved him? And some of them said, could not these men who opened the eyes of the blind also have kept these men from dying? Then Jesus, again groaning in himself, came to the came to the tomb it was a cave and a stone lay against it here we're gonna stop here uh here uh, you can see he says there was a stone lay against it so i see you know i was reading this you know uh i was saying that you know that stone represents our uh our disappointments it was uh, that stone there it was uh, representing martha and mary's disappointment and i see that it represents our disappointments our hurts our hopelessness um have you ever been disappointed yeah, yeah? more than once probably right uh, so um a lot of the time you know we get stuck there and when we when, when we get stuck there we can't see farther. I tell you from experience, you know, when I've been disappointed, you know, I can't see farther. All I can see is the, uh, I can feel the pain. All I can see is the disappointment. And I can't see farther than that. And that's like the stone, you know, there. Blocking our view. Blocking what God wants to do in our lives. Um, so, in the rest of the verse says, that, then Jesus said, Take away the stone. Can you see that he's not saying, okay, I'm going to go and I am going to move that stone. No, he told them, take the stone away. So God is waiting for us to take that stone away, you know, uh, that is separating us from our miracle. So, yeah, a lot of the time, like I told you, you know, we see, uh, we, we are in so much pain. And so much disappointment that you, we don't see farther than that. And we need to just take that stone away. And um, let's, let's keep going. Verse 40. Martha, the sister of him who was dead, said to him, Lord, by this time there is a stench, for he has been dead four days. 
In other words, he stinks already, right? Um, and a lot of the time, you know, when God is telling us, you know, like, come on, get up. Come on, get over that disappointment. You know, there's more in life than that. And we, with our thoughts and with our words, uh, sometimes our thoughts and words stink, right? They stink. And, and God wants to do something. But when we are saying the, word, the things we are saying, you know, like, we are tying God, uh, what, we are tying his hands. He can't do anything. Why? Because, I mean, why if he is so powerful? No, because he wants to work with us. He wants to partner with us. He wants us to think, and, think it and, and speak it also. So there's power in our words, right? So... So yeah, sometimes, you know, the way we, we, we talk, it stinks, right? <laughs> it stinks, kind of like uh, this guy, you know, that was dead for four days. Um, okay, let's see in verse 40. It says, Jesus said to her, did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? There, you know, God is saying to us, you know, like, when we are so negative, you know, don't want to take the stone of negativity or, or disappointment. God is saying, didn't I tell you that if you believe, you will believe, you will see great things in your life. You will see great things in your family, in, in your marriage, in your neighborhood, wherever you are, you know. God wants to do something in people's life through you. So, okay, let's keep going. Uh, then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was laying. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. And I know that you always hear me, but because of the people who are standing by, I say this, that they may believe that you sent me. Now, when he had said these things, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he who had died came out, bound hand and foot with grave cloth, and his face was wrapped with cloth. Jesus said to them, loose him and let him go. So, God is waiting for us to partner with him. If you are stuck in that hurt, in that disappointment, in all the junk, you know, God wants you to partner with him and say, okay, enough. I believe God. I believe that God has more than me than just, you know, getting by or just being unhappy. God wants you to be happy. God wants you to enjoy life here. Not just when you get to heaven. I mean, there, of course, we're going to be happy, right? But he wants you to ha be happy here. Not be in the, uh, stuck with those disappointments, with those... Um, um, just anger and hurts and all that. So he wants to turn your graves into beautiful gardens. He wants to uh, turn your graves into these amazing, amazing dreams, you know. How many of you have prophecies, you know, or, or dreams or goals and all that, you know. And sometimes we are stuck there because we have put that uh, stone there so roll the stone away man so i want you to just uh, close your eyes right now and we're gonna keep worshiping god and um just close your eyes and we can dim the lights also and um you just worship god and just receive from him and he wants you to roll the the, the stone away uh, yeah he's asking he said will you roll the stone away would you say so i want you to be free of pain I want you to overcome that disappointment. Will you let me? He say, I am not done with you. I am not done with you. I have big plans for you. I have big dreams for you. Focus in me, he said. Focus in me.